This is how you can get the most out of your ultra wide monitor. Let me show you how. First software, it's called Display Fusion Pro. It has tons of features, as you can see. And the one we're interested in is monitor profiles or the multi monitor splitting. I have a TRG9, which is a Samsung. 49 inch ultra wide monitor and it shows you my graphics cards and rts 20 inch super and i have my screen split in three so if you go to splits and padding and this i have split it up technically i have a 1440p monitor in the middle in terms of resolution and then equals 180 by 1440 which is a weird aspect ratio i suppose but it works so what it ends up looking is like this i'm filming with my phone right now I have my window on the left and the main window which is the one I'm recording right now as you can see and then on the third one I put my OBS so I can see what I'm doing but it is a super super cool app and it's packed with many many features as you can see there's a plethora of them of course there's a free version also a paid version I have the links down below for you to check them out however the feature I just showed you is this one monitor splitting for creating smaller virtual monitors and use splits and padding for bezel compensation and more this is only available as you can see it's not available in the free version but it's available in all the other both versions and I believe right now they actually have a sale if I'm not mistaken yeah, so instead of $34, it's something like 23 USD. I'm not sure how much is it on Steam. You can get it on Steam. I personally have it on, on there. And you can see if you need a standard or a personal or a pro site, enterprise, whatever you use, or on Steam. There's many versions. Well, now that we split our monitor and we have this cool segmentation going on, you may have noticed I don't have any taskbar. My taskbar is in here, and why? There's this really cool program on GitHub. It's called Battery Taskbar, and it's quite easy. Just follow the instructions. You click here for the download. It's step by step how to do it. I have a link down below. But after you install it, as you can see, I press the Windows key, taskbar pops up, and it's it right here. So you can keep the taskbar hidden and also have the software start with Windows. And you can also restart the program, disable it in case it acts up. Now this works with Display Fusion Honey Hunt pretty well. However, one thing to keep in mind, it can be really tricky with the taskbar. There's this taskbar, multi-monitor taskbars are currently disabled. And you can hear what it does. Basically, um, Display Fusion takes control over the Windows taskbar. And also Battery taskbar is looking to take control of it too. And sometimes it glitches out. And what I mean is when you press Windows key right now, it's working flawlessly. Uh, come on. Well, it's it, it doesn't want to do it. No, it did it. See, I press the Windows key to bring my taskbar up. And sometimes the taskbar doesn't get up there. Now, you can disable this feature. However, um, the way I like to have my taskbar is my taskbar doesn't actually go my entire screen. It goes across just in the middle main screen the one 1440p and when you, i disable this my taskbar goes along the entirety of it and i don't want that and i re truly don't mind putting off with it but if you are having issues disable this option which you can find by right click on display fusion in your system tray going to monitor profiles and probably you won't have any profiles so just create slash edit monitor profiles and this is the window that opens and you have the option right here cool awesome so now you can partition your screen you have this cool real estate, no more taskbar. And probably you are looking to play a game now. And recently I've been playing Starfield. And I've been playing my games also in window mode. And the thing is, Starfield window mode, I hate games that have a window mode. That one, they have this, I, I truly forgot what it's called, but this white bar that goes across to the top with the X. And also, you can't maximize the window. It's locked. It's gray. This is where another cheeky program comes in. Let me resume by doing a shortcut. Bada bim, bada boom. Got enlarged. Now, one thing that I noticed is this puts some stress on my CPU. And it actually causes my OBS to lag out. So I'll, if you have a strong enough machine, I don't think you'll worry. But if I'm planning to stream and I'll also upscale it, I'll probably look into tweaking some settings, especially how you record in OBS. As for me, it starts to lag out. But my game runs flawlessly. My game has no problem. Just OBS throws me this um, CPU. And I actually don't know if it happens in more games. I think it's just Starfield. Plus, let's be honest, Starfield is not optimized at all. This game doesn't run well. I have a 2080 Super and I'm running medium settings. 
with like FSR 2, all of that, and I'm at 48 FPS. I, I didn't put any mods, like the DLSS mods, and I think that will greatly help. And the program is called Lossless Scaling, and it has a cool picture of a duck. And you can find it on Steam as Display Fusion. So, Display Fusion is uh, 23 USD right now, the moment of making this video, if you buy it on the website. Battery task buy is free, and Lossless Scaling, I think it's something like three bucks honestly hold on yeah loss of scaling is something like 429 pounds and as you can see it has many scaling algorithms yeah even as amd fsr nvidia image scaling but the best one is ls1 ls1 is really good this is the one that i've been using and you really don't get a loss of performance so i highly recommend it these are my settings if you want to copy them out i'll definitely just play with the scale factor i'll recommend adjusting cursor speed because when you upscale, your sensitivity changes as well. So you want it adjusted. Double buff in VR support, I just keep them on. There's performance mode, but this will make the upscaling worse. And the way I use it to get rid of that top white bar is crop input. And I just copy the 40 and I have multi-display mode. So I have a multi-display setup, so I want to have multi-display mode on. Technically, I have only one monitor, but we have display fusion now. And going back to Safi, just to show you, you don't lose that much FPS. If any at all i'll just wait for it to table out a bit so we're looking in this direction we have 48 frames and about 20 milliseconds 23 of input lag you can see that my fps and also my input lag stays the same so yeah my game is fine but now we're at 47 fps now I'm should keep in mind my games runs perfectly well it just my obs just dies out when i upscale but this also maybe because my obs settings a bit high so yeah these are the three pieces of software i want to show you i think they are really cool they've definitely been a game changer for my setup so if you want to see more stuff like this subscribe i upload the list once a week see you